It's a beautiful morning. A stag is dead down there. It was standing up there, but needed to stop over this ridge, above this ridge, and I shot it. Its chest, you know, it was hiding its head. It is tag. Oh, I don't know how they are. I don't know. Anyhow, looks like a small step. It's not a flat place. I'll drag it down there, over there, over there, and we'll do it from now. This is the knife. Horsey T2, Long Wolf, S30V, Vertebrae, Deep Angled, Convex Edge. Oh, a video, okay. The ground is muddy. I don't want to touch leg. The scapular rotation is difficult now. Okay, no problem. Anyway, this is the very great backstrap muscle. Very thick. It goes on a long line, long line cutting, nice knife. Beautifully done. This side very beautiful too. Too much traction is no good. Just appropriate Traction is needed. Left hand traction. Oh.
greedy than all its earlier. Bloody, I'm sorry. Maybe hitting around here. Ah. Okay.
Now, not very sharp, half the body is still remaining, it can be a, anyway, this knife will do everything. This is the last muscle from this deer. Yes, I hold it. Pelvic side cutting. Okay. I'm holding it. This is the great inner thigh muscle. Finished. It's a nice knife. 
Lone Wolf T2 CPM S30V William Harzi design Look at this beautiful drop point and edge line It's a cool knife Hmm, can be a tactical knife, but very useful for deer dressing. A bit longer side, 4 inch blade. 4 inch fixed blade is okay, but 4 inch folder is long because of this pivot area. This is the famous Gunny knife. 4 inch blade, and uh, yeah. Blade length is pretty similar, a bit longer on this one. But when I set the finger position here, look at this, this difference. From here to here, this distance is very important for precision cutting and power transfer. This is just right length, 4 inch braid. A bit far from my thumb, this distance. But acceptable, hmm, Horsey T2. It has my self made, relatively deep angled convex edge, maybe. 35 and a bit degree angle. It has uh, 30 plus a bit angle. 5 degrees larger, maybe. S30 V. I don't see any chippings at all. When it had 30 degree shallow angle edge, it chipped badly, as I have said repeatedly. S30V in a 30 degree small angle edge chipped badly, but now I don't see any chippings in my bare eyes. But mm, mm, doesn't cut paper very well, newspaper very well. So there can be some micro problems. Let's see through the microscope. Hmm, bead blast area, and uh, this is the edge line. Hmm, a tiny irregularity. Here and there, tiny irregularities. Oh. It can be said as microchippings. Oh, irregular. Hmm. Very long edge line. Very, very long. A bit irregular here. Hmm. Illumine 
animation is not very good. Hmm. Anyway, very, very long edge line. Okay, all tiny irregularities. I think this can be restored easily. This dropping angle is relatively high, higher than this one. Sound is different, not taking the edge. It is taking the edge. This angle is higher. You know, this angle. This angle is higher. This white compound grinds metal decently. Color changes black. Very easy. I like Bark River white compound very much. Scary shop because of this larger angle, 35 degrees in my opinion. Okay. Hmm. A small problem is remaining here. This portion, very portion. I'm used to holding like this. Mm. Mm. New paper is needed. Okay. Restore. 
No problem. This angle is larger than Gani. So, this cutting is enough for this edge angle. Yeah, this is sharper. My fingers say it's sharper. Hmm. Its angle is larger. In conclusion, S30V is sharper in a smaller angle and it took less uh, problems small number of problems, just a single point. Multiply it took micro problems. Regardless that it has a larger angle, S30V. S35VN is a better steel than S30V, but it is a discontinued sweet knife, my treasure knife. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.